What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to turn the new motion matching animation sample into first person. It's going to be a very easy build to follow, so let's get started. I just want to let you know that I just released a new free ebook that you can download for beginners on how to master Unreal Engine 5, so I'll be linking that in the description. With that said, let's continue with the video. Alright, so let's go into the blueprints folder and open up the CVP sandbox character blueprint. Now on here, let's go to the viewport. And you can see that here we have the mesh, the spring arm with the camera, and all these things. So, for this tutorial we're going to be using the true first person approach, which consists on taking and reparenting the spring arm and camera into the uh, head socket of the mesh. And we get a very very realistic motion effect. I've already used this um, style in a lot of my tutorials, so let's go ahead and do this. So let's go ahead and just drag the spring arm to be a child of the mesh. And now, on the parent socket, what I can do is select the head bone. And now with that said, I can just simply reset the location. You can see now it's actually on the head. And then with that said, I can just put the arm length, which is the distance from the center to the camera, to zero. And now as you can see, we have it on the mesh's head, which is really cool. Now, the thing is that when I press play, you will notice that we actually don't have it still on you know, the head. This is because the sandbox character blueprint has its own system for this. And in the variable section, we actually have different camera styles. So the default one is the close. So if we set the cam style close, we have some parameters which essentially override the ones in the components. So first of all, let's set the arm length once again to zero. Then on the socket offset, let's put 10, zero and 10. So it is in a better position. Then on the transition lag speed, like 45, and then we can leave the field of view at 90 and transition speed at five. And now, yes, if I go and press play, boom, we are inside of the players. You can see I'm literally in first person. We have the head over there and I can just move around. So I can just go and jump into here and everything just works super fine. Now there's a little thing and it's that when I go ahead and turn the camera, you can see that the character doesn't turn until I move. So to change this, I'm going to go back to the blueprint, go to the event graph, and you can see that down here in the aim, we have this two variables, which is once to aim and once to strafe. So let's copy this two and unplug triggered on the aim and on strafe. And then go up here into the event tick, which happens every frame, paste them, connect them, turn this to true, connect this one, and expand the comment, and that's it. Now the thing is that, yes, my character now will turn right when I change the camera, but we are no longer in first person. And that's because we are on the aiming, we are changing the camera style. So we also need to go to the style on the aim and change this to be at the arm length of zero, socket offset 10, zero, 10, basically the same values as before. The uh, lag speed at uh, 45, fill the view 90 and then transition speed five. And now, yes, when I press play, boom, we are on first person, everything works, and when I turn, the body turns. So that's it, guys. If you found this tutorial helpful, I would really appreciate it if you could like the video and subscribe to my channel. I have lots of unreal and five videos and tutorials, so check them out. I check my Patreon members for many benefits. Check out my new ebook, link in the description. And now, yes, with all said, bye bye.